Hey y'all, welcome back to Papa Creek Farm. Today is the day. I am so excited. I've been looking forward to this for so long, like years. Today is the day I go pick up my bees. So we're getting four nukes today uh, from a local guy. So I'm going there and picking them up. And then I'll show you guys me setting them up and I'm so excited and very nervous. <laughs> I hadn't really gotten nervous at all until today. Like it all of a sudden hit me like, oh my goodness. I'm actually getting, four, I'm gonna have 40,000 bees in my car driving down the road. Although they're gonna be in their boxes. <laughs> so just like insane. <laughs> Shut up. I'm so unbelievably excited. So join me as I set up my very first hive. All right guys, so I picked up my bees. Also screwed up my husband's car while I was doing that. I ran over a tree trunk and totally ruined the oil pan. Um, so today has been an interesting day already. But I've got my smoker on, got my bee suit ready, and I'm ready to do my first nuke. Uh, so I also have frame feeders in there because it's best to feed your bees initially. They're, you know, there's not this great nectar source initially. Um, and they're also, I mean, these are new hives, so they're pretty weak at this point. They have to strengthen up. So uh, fr frame feeders in there with a one-to-one -one ratio. So one cup of sugar to one cup of water. Um, but it's about a gallon of in each in each uh, frame feeder. All right, here we go. All right, so I am not claiming to be a professional at this. I'm not claiming to teach anybody right now. This is for my learning experience. So don't you know if I do things wrong, please comment, let me know. But I'm still learning. So all right, so first I'm just gonna smoke the bottom, which has a little bit of a uh, it's got a screen on it. So I'm just smoking them a little bit. Get them kind of calm down from transport. <laughs> Propolis <laughs> stuck on there. There's all my bees. All right, so you want to work from one side over. Um, so I don't want to be, okay. So you want to work from one side over because you want to keep it the same in the box that it is in, in this box. Uh, so I got my hive tool. I'm very going to be very gentle with this. gonna start on this side because there's a little more gap to move up. I've got a drone comb on here. I'm going to see if I can find my queen. I don't see. Oh, nope, that's a drone. She has some drone, which is fine. So they're drawing out the comb. So there's all, that's all honey there. And some brood. Looks like mostly honey there. Okay. I've got my. That's what the queen came in. So the queen came in this little cage. It has a sugar cap on it, um, and they eat the. Eat the sugar cap off and then let the queen out.
my queen quite yet. What's up, baby? But my beekeeper that I got these bees from did say that they all have queens, so I do want to try to find it at some point here. All right, guys, so I've got two hives in. Just finished that one. Finished this one in a little while. Leaving the bee, the box over here, because a lot of these bees haven't gone out. I tried tapping them in. They just didn't want to go in yet, which is fine. They will. They'll follow the queen's pheromones. So on to hive number three. I have to say the second one, I think there was just less bees. It was significantly easier than the first one. So hopefully that'll continue. All right, guys, so my stand... For my camera or my phone is broken so i didn't get to do a whole lot of filming with this but all four hives are set up i don't know it took me about half an hour not bad i mean obviously there's still bees hanging out they'll go in as time goes on they'll go in they have feeders in there like i said sugar water it's an equal ratio one to one in winter, they get two to one, so two cups of sugar to one cup of water. Um, but right now, obviously being spring, they need one to one. So they're all set. I'm just gonna leave their the uh, nuke boxes open for a little bit, let all the bees find their way out of the nuke boxes into the hives. I did find a queen on this one. It's the only one I found a queen on. Uh, but they all have cat brood and they all look good. I'm not worried that there's not queens. Uh, I just couldn't find them. I am very new to beekeeping, so. It's not always the easiest thing to find, but I will eventually figure them all out and do hive inspections. And I will do regular hive inspections in the beginning here just to make sure that they're doing okay. Adding frames or adding, you know, second uh, box as needed. So keeping a close eye on things. But I think for my first attempt, that went pretty darn well. And I have regular pants on, just my beekeeping suit on, so, and obviously gloves. But I felt pretty comfortable. I wasn't super nervous. Uh, my son, unfortunately, did get stung because they were hanging out a little too close when I was opening up the first hive, which seems to be a little bit feistier than the rest. Not right now. All right, guys, first beekeeping experience was a success. Was a success. Can't talk now. I'm way too excited. That was awesome. I was, you know, nervous that I would be nervous and that I wouldn't feel super comfortable with it, um, that I would feel like I would get overwhelmed with how many bees there are and everything. But honestly, that was just the coolest thing ever to see that up close and personal. I've looked at a thousand pictures, watched a thousand videos of beekeeping, and now to actually do it was amazing. I mean, I know I've got a long ways to go before I consider, can consider myself a beekeeper, really, but first experience is awesome, and so I cannot wait to do this more. Thank y'all for joining me today. I will definitely be posting more videos as I do my hive inspections and whatnot, so please join me on the next one.